All right, so watch this one, you know. We are going to jump to another video, you know what I mean? With footer hype. Give me a second. Right? We are him address some things, you know what I mean? About the same Rasta community. Right? Give me a second. Uh. So there is a thing about, you know what I mean? There is a thing with him and Sizzler. And some of Sizzler supporters who are Rastas. You know what I mean? Come up against him, Zin. With threatening. You know what I mean? Go as I said the... before, right? You don't really see Sizzler abound the to fire. To remove you know, that know. flag. So we don't remove we'll the flag. We are different, right? Just... Are, uh, so yeah, man. And... Then you know what I'm afraid of? You know afraid of the alphabet boy there. But you know what I'm afraid of? You know, I'm afraid of the alphabet boy there. You know what I'm afraid of? 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 You know afraid of the alphabet boy there. None at all. Be afraid of Uno and uh, Uno free that the alphabet for them like post. All right, so why I'm saying them afraid of the alphabet for them? See, of course, Sizzla Kalonji, not, not Sizzla, foot type, no, in I truth, you know. You know what I mean? Foot type is just another so called black conscious person like Mr. Vegas. You understand? Still in you know, the African mindset and ancestors are one bag of thing. You know what I mean? So I'm not the knowledge of the truth, see? But we must say make a lot of sense. You know what I mean? The Rasta community, you know what I mean, which leaders are these Rasta reggae entertainers. You know what I mean? That is, you can't refute that because they are the vice for the Rasta Farai community, right? Them now burn out homosexuality again. You understand? Sizzler when him go up on stage, him, him change up him lyrics. You understand? Rasta, Rasta man don't apologize to no funny guy. You understand? Me know, uh, you know what I mean? Use the, the word. But when him go up on stage, what him say? Him say, Rasta man don't apologize to no Babylon and no Raper man. So him compromise. You understand? Which means I'm afraid of the LGBT community. And you know what I mean? It's not, it's not for say yo that, you know what I mean? I know we are not trying to belittle nobody, you know. We just are try to put it to the people them for understand that. You can't really look for leadership from the people here, from Christians and from Rasta. Because when it comes to, you know what I mean, comes down to the wire, they are going to choose the money. You know, you know what I mean? That is just point blank and simple. You know what I mean? You can't go around it. You understand the Rasta, Rastafari community, they go, they go compromise their morals for the money. You understand? And that make them weak. You understand? And because Rasta is a man-made religion now, you see? It make it even worse weak because, you know what I mean? It is not based on anything realistic. You understand? Yeah, man. So that is the reason why we say these people cannot be your leaders. You understand? However, they are placed as leaders over these, you know what I mean, over the people because of the platform where them have and the reach where them have. But they are not speaking on your behalf. They will speak, they will speak, you know what I mean, when it comes to them making money. So anything when I affect them money, they are going to speak, man. you understand? All right, so watch this now. No? Now I jump to another scripture. And this is... Second Timothy um, chapter 3, verse 16. And this is what it says. All scriptures is given by inspiration of the Most High and is profitable for doctrine. So this scripture here in the Bible, which was written by our four parents, which is not a white man book. You know what I mean? It's profitable for doctrine. You know what I mean? For the edification of us, for guidance. You understand? So, we don't throw out the scriptures and we don't add to it, which leads me to another scripture. You know what I mean? 
And we here in the ISUP, you know, when we read the scriptures, we actually do what the scriptures say, that unlike the Rastafarian and the, the Christian community, you know, we practice what we teach. You understand? We, that's why we name Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge. You understand? Because it's a school you come to learn. You know what I mean? And when you learn, you do what you learn. You understand? So where the scripture tell us, say, yo, you must not, you know what I mean? You must love the Lord with all your heart and, you know what I mean? You must not murder your brother. You must not covet your neighbor's wife and them thing there. You understand? We do them thing, yeah. We do it for real. We live it. You understand? This is not a fake thing. This is not a fake righteousness. We follow the laws to the T. You understand? All right. So the next scripture I'm going to pull. This is Revelations chapter 22 and verse 18. Right? And this is what it says. For I testify unto every man that heareth the word of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And that is why, this is why the Rasta, you know what I mean, community and the Christian community look weak right you now. You understand? Because them add to them scripture. Yeah. Them see where, you know what I mean, Christ is the lion of the tribe of Judah and them, them ascribe it to Eli Selassie. You understand? So that's why the most I put them on the forefront as being weak. That's why I see so much pastor, you know what I mean, being brought to the forefront for child molestation and all them things. Then you see Rasta is showing to be hypocrites. You know what I mean? Because them add to these words, you understand, when they are plain as day. You understand? Yeah, man. And there's no brotherhood in these religions. You understand which? Because our people follow these religions, then you have so much murder, murder among us and, and lack of brotherhood. You understand? And the oppressor just sit back and watch us kill each other. You know what I mean? Because we do nothing in these laws in the Bible that would get us out of this state. You understand? Because we are divided in these religion, these man-made religion. And what does religion mean? To divide. You understand? So Christianity is a religion and Rastafarianism is a religion. As much as the Moan says that we have life, it is a religion. This is a definition of a religion. But we in the ISUPK, we bring you back to your original cost, culture. You know what I mean? Your original heritage as the children of Israel. That is not a religion. That is a nation. You are the descendants of the children of Israel and you have a covenant to the Most High. You know what I mean? And these covenant include you keeping these laws. If you don't keep these laws, you will suffer the atrocities that we are suffering today. You understand? If you keep these laws, the most I will make us the greatest nation from the face of the earth. You understand? This is no religion. You understand? But Rastafarianism and, and, and Christianity, they are the religions that, you know what I mean, hold us back from the truth. You understand? All right, so watch this now. The next scripture I'm going to jump to is Jeremiah. Chapter 2, verse 33. And this is what it says. Why trim it thou thy way to seek love? And this goes to Sizzler and Chronix and all the Rastafarian leaders then, like Bujubantan and them. You understand? Which are the Rasta leaders. There is no debate in that. And on the, the priest up above the leader, a Sizzler Kalonja the leader, and 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 Capitan and them, and them are the leader, right? So the scripture asks them, why trim your way if you seek love? Why no, you're not born homosexuality and you're not burn the fire upon certain lifestyle for seek love because you want the white man accept you so you can get your visa, right? And you can fly and go up on tour, you know what I mean? And make money. Why trim your way if you seek love, right? Continue reading. Therefore, as thou also taught the wicked ones thy ways, meaning... The oppressor look by you now and see say you compromise. And him study and see say, oh, I saw you steer, you sell out. You thought the wicked one your ways. No, you can't fight the buckle anymore. No, you have to go up on stage and say, Rasta man don't apologize to no Babylon. You can't say Chichi man again. You understand? Because you trim your way for seek love. You understand? Yeah, man. And these Europeans, them love the Rasta religion, you know, because it allowed them to smoke weed. You see? Yeah, man. And, and them love Christianity too because Christianity and Rastafari make, make us weak. You understand? You know what I mean? But the question is, 
what has Rastafari done or, or solved here among us as black people, right? What has the Rastafari community has ever accomplished for us as a people to make us better as a people? Have they, have they stopped child molestation? Child molestation take play, place in both the church and in the Rastafari community. You understand? So what, what have the Rastafari community have ever done that has been beneficial for us as black people? Nothing. For the many years that Rastafari has been to, in Jamaica, you know what I mean? We have not improved as a people which shows you that them and Christianity is not the way to go. You understand? All right. So the next scripture I'm going to pull is Ecclesiastes chapter 4 and verse 6. All right. We'll read verse 6 and then skip on down to verse 12. And this is what it says. Better is an handful with quietness than both hands full with travail and vexation of spirit. And this goes to the Rasta entertainer them. You know what I mean? Better is an handful. You know what I mean? Better is an handful with quietness than both handful. You know what I mean? With vexation of spirit. So the little money where you make is better you have that and still you know maintain your integrity and your morals than you have your both handful and your compromise to the LGBT and the alphabet boy them like foot say. You understand? And now you can go on, you know what I mean, tour and all them things there. And you know what I mean, you have vexation of spirit because you know, say so you compromise. You know, say so the LGBT boy, them are them control, you know. You understand? But the scripture says better is a handful with, with, you know what I mean, with quietness than both handful with vexation of spirit, which no found a vexation of spirit right you now because you don't know no compromise. Verse 7. So look here, right? So this really I tell you, say, yo, be content with what you have, you know what I mean? And don't trim your ways, you understand? Because if you trim your ways, you know, you can't speak out against where you, where you want to speak out against, you know what I mean? And who to tell what that might lead you down the road to? You know what I mean? If you sell out on one thing, where you might sell out on next thing, you know, say you become one of the, the LGBT community them, and we don't put nothing past none of them boys and you know, none of them religions. You understand? The only man them we sure about are the man them in the UPK. You know what I mean? Because we are the ones that keep these laws. You understand? And the laws say, man shall not lie with mankind. Any man lie with a man as he lie with a woman. They shall both be put to death. Their blood shall be upon their head. You understand? We live by that law. You understand? But these religions don't live by this law. So that's why the LGBT community can pressure them. You understand? Them can't pressure commanding general your honor and the ISUPK though. You understand? We are firm as a rock. You get me? So, you know what I mean? Why compromise? Better on come in at the truth. You know what I mean? Be among men that are, you know what I mean? Unrelenting. Unmovable. You understand? Alright, so this is verse 7. Then I return and I saw vanity under the sun. Alright? So the most I, you know what I mean? Him no value you and your money, you know? You understand? You don't think that you and your money is nothing important to the most guy. You see? Continue reading. Verse 9. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. Right? So, you know what I mean? For Rastafarians and Christians come together. First, they have to put away them religion. You understand? And them differences. You understand? And the only thing that can do that is this Bible, this scripture. These laws are the only thing can unite Rasta and Christian. You know what I mean? Because even the thing, even though the case is alleged where the Rasta girl was trim, you know what I mean? If she was trim, it is just, you know what I mean, a long history of war between Rasta and Christian in Jamaica. You know what I mean? Because Christian trim Rasta and Rasta not like Christian. But you know what I mean? The only way to unite is under these laws, these scriptures. You understand? Verse 10. For if they fall, the one will lift up the other. You understand? This is talking about morals. Because if your brother fall, you know what I mean? You can encourage him to go on the right path. You understand? Continue reading. But woe to him that is alone when he fall. For he has not another to help him up. You understand? The Rastafari community and the Christian community are alone because them, them operate as individually, um, individuals. You understand? They don't operate like a unit or in brotherhood as a team. 
all of them believe 10 different things. All of the Rasta denomination, them and the Christian denomination, them believe a hundred different things. They are not united. All of them are individual. And as individuals, them compete against each other. Hence, these reggae artists, them war compute, compete against each other. Continue reading verse 11. Again, if two lied together, then they have eat. But how oh, can one be warm alone, right? So what this means is we all are in this thing together. Nobody will get left out. You understand? Verse 12. And if one prevail against him, two shall withstand him. Meaning the oppressor can't fight one and not fight us all. You understand? Skipping down. Verse 13. You know what I mean? Better is the poor and a wise child than an old and foolish king. So better is a poor man where keep him integrity than chronics and sizzler and these reggae entertainers who compromise to please the oppressor. You understand? Yeah, man. So the last scripture I'm going to read, see, is Proverbs um, chapter 9 and verse 10. And this is what it says. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. So if you consider yourself wise, you would fear the most high and keep these last statutes and commandments. You understand? The rich man can't fear the most time, fear who pay him, who, who give him money. You know what I mean? That's why chronics don't speak out against homosexuality. That is why Sisla, you know what I mean, change up him lyrics. You know what I mean? That is why Bujubantan take a certain song out in Catalog. You understand? Imagine if them did poor, they wouldn't have nothing to lose. So don't think that, you know what I mean, you being rich is anything important. You being rich sometimes, you know what I mean, is a, is a compromise to, to the most high. Are you compromising the most time? You understand? That's why scripture says, can a rich man enter into the kingdom? Because you will compromise to save your pocket. You understand? And whatever, whatever you fear, you follow. Again, my name is Officer Kayadwan out of ISUP Cage, Jamaica. Remember to like this video. You understand? Subscribe. You understand? And with that, I say shalom. And one other thing, you know what I mean? We are give out a challenge to any one of you Rastafari leaders or Christian leaders out there. You know what I mean? We are putting out a challenge. The ISUP Cage Jamaica. You know what I mean? It's challenging you to a debate. You know what I mean? Any denomination, any Rasta sect. You understand? We are challenging you to a debate. You know what I mean? To see who, you know what I mean, are the real, you know what I mean, teachers and leaders of black people. You understand? Yeah, man. And... Upon, upon our conversation, we can determine, you know what I mean, we can refine the topic and what we want to debate on, you understand? But we need to have a conversation with our Rastafari communities, you know what I mean, and our Christian communities, you know what I mean, in, in, in regard to the doctrine that they teach, you understand? So this is a challenge from ISUPK Jamaica and the Commanding General Yana. We are challenging the Rastafari community and the Christian community to a battle, to a debate, you know what I mean, to see who are the real leaders, you know what I mean, of black people here in Jamaica. And with that, I say shalom.